Good day everyone! Today, what we will be doing is to answer a practice problem from the book Fundamentals of Electric Circuits. This is a three-phase balance YY circuit. Let's see the problem. In the directions, it is said to use P-spice to find the line current IBB and the phase voltage VAN, then take F equals 100 Hz. In this tutorial, what we will be using is LP SPI simulator to answer the given question. So this is what an LP SPI simulator looks like. These are the different tabs. So if you have or if you want to have a better outline, then click view, show or do not show the grid. So in here are the most common functions in a simulator. This is when you run the circuit to zoom, pan, and to cut. Then simply click here, the wire, ground, resistor, capacitor, inductor, and the diode. So to start our simulation, we must recreate the circuit in the problem. So we must click here, component, search for voltage for our voltage source, click OK. So now we have our voltage source to rotate. We can simply press Ctrl R. Press S, then press R for resistor, control R for rotate, and simply align them. Ask L, shortcut for inductor, press L, control R, and then align. Resistor again. Ask inductor. Ask. So let us see our circuit again. Inductor. Resistor and inductor again. Okay, so now we have this. We better align them. We can move the components by pressing move. Okay. Oops. So now for the wire to connect all of these, we can simply click here or press F3. can just go through each component like this and they will simply connect okay now that we are almost done with the circuit let's have our ground here or press G. You can place your ground here. Press ask. 
Now that we have our circuit, the next part would be the next part would be assigning values to these different components. Since we will simulate a balanced YY three free circuit, we will need to have an AC voltage source. So let's click okay, right click the component, press the defense. So uncheck this two. Let's go to AC amplitude here and the AC fix. So AC amplitude would be 120 and 60 for the first source. So 120 and 60. Okay. Right click, advance, and check this to 120. Negative 60. Okay, and 120. One eighty. Okay, for the resistor values, two inductor values are one point six. Right click two. So right click the inductor. So we must put one point six milli or one point six M. One point six M this would be ten and ten milli hendrix. Ten. And box, right? The same goes the resistor here. Okay. Now that we're done with the values. The next part would be how we want this circuit to be simulated. Since this is an AC circuit, we would be doing AC analysis. Press S to go to the SPICE directive, then type AC space LIN, L -I -N space 1 space 100 space 100. This is a shortcut in putting the analysis. LIN for linear sweep, 1 for the points, and 100 for the start and end frequency. After setting this all up, we can now run our simulated circuit. We can get the results of our circuit. So following the voltage and current of the components, so we can compare our result with the answers in the book. So VAN is supposedly in here in the node 3 right here then line current IVB would be the current in inductor 2 which is in here so if we run against circuit node 3 Hundred point nine three six phase angle of sixty point eighty seven. We're correct, and then current in inductor two eight point five four five nine six with phase angle of negative ninety one point. Two six nine two or negative nine one point twenty seven amps. We can see that our simulated circuit 
have the correct values. We have come up with the same values as the book. So that's it. Hope you find this helpful and have a good day.